I couldn't sleep at night because it was so painful. I'd walk a short distance and have to sit down because it was so painful. I had to start taking painkillers. It would become impossible. When I was 17, I had bilateral deep vein thrombosis, which meant that I had blood clots from foot to thigh in both of my legs. And then when I was 21, I had my first ulcer on my right leg. So it's been, I think, about two years ongoing now that my left ulcer has been open. Wound healing problems are a forgotten challenge within modern day healthcare, both in developed and developing countries. 6% of NHS spend, or 78,000 patients a year in Wales, have wound healing difficulties. In terms of leg ulcers, we know that about 1-3% to of the population will have leg ulcers at some stage in their life. I wasn't walking very carefully and I knocked my left leg with the heel of my right shoe, broke the skin and just developed from there. It just became a constant and it got to the point where the pain was getting bad enough that I had to start taking painkillers. It hurt all the time, it was affecting my sleep. I couldn't sleep at night because it was so painful. It was difficult just to walk around so emotionally. I think there's quite a, a high toll with it. The vast majority of those patients struggle to find a clinician or a department who has an interest or an expertise in this area. And so many things are done ineffectively or inefficiently. And one of the biggest challenges that we find is working out the diagnosis of a patient's leg ulcer to target the treatment appropriately. It's been quite difficult getting consistency of care. We actually sought out the clinic ourselves and asked if I could maybe be seen here because there were so many ongoing issues. They did a thorough exam. They got a really clear idea of my history, what had happened, how it had developed. So it felt like I was kind of being treated by people who had a more thorough understanding and were willing to kind of look beyond the obvious. The creation of this National Wound Healing Centre here in Wales provides us with unique opportunities, not only in terms of the academic aspects of our work in teaching and research, but also in terms of our ability to coordinate the delivery of care to patients. I found walking very difficult. I'd have to think well before accepting any invitation to, to an event, you know, to find out if I'd have to stand or walk any distance because I wouldn't be able to cope with it. It would become impossible. And in terms of my therapeutic armamentarium for treating patients with wounds, there's dressings, there's devices, there's drugs, there's surgical approaches, and increasingly it looks as if we are developing successful biological-based therapies to try and correct the healing abnormalities that we see in clinical practice. I have tried anything. <laughs> I'm quite happy to try maggots. I, I have every confidence in, in the wound clinic. And I know that everything they've done has been successful. Wounds have been around since the beginning of time. Maggots, although seeming old fashioned, have been used with success over many centuries in all parts of the world. The difficulty, if we're not careful, is we become interested in, focused on new technologies without properly evaluating traditional or natural remedies. We may miss golden opportunities. The philosophy we have here at the Wound Healing Centre is that we work as multidisciplinary teams. As we realise the complexity of these diseases, we have to bring a team of colleagues around the same problem with the patient at the centre of, of our attention. I know this is going to be something that I'm going to need to deal with probably for the rest of my life, on and off at different times. I think people understanding more about it would be really, really helpful. Still can't walk for long, but my leg isn't painful anymore, which is wonderful. I can't thank them enough. Can't wait for Monday to see what it's like oh, when you take it off. <laughs>